Ah, the restaurant is La, La Esperanza in Valle Guadalupe. And the food is Bajamet. It's a concept. Bajamet is, is Baja Mediterranean. And I do it 16 years ago because Baja California cuisine didn't exist in that moment. So in this main cuisine, first Mexico. So all the cuisines from Mexico can, can go to this main product. Can be the kitchen of Yucatan, Mexico, Michoacán, Oaxaca, whatever. Sauce, tortillas, chiles, whatever can be in Mexico come to this product. The second influence that we have here very strongly is the Mediterranean. 95% of the Mexican wine comes from these valleys. We're in the vineyard. We have uh, olive oil, vegetables, herbs. Whatever you can grow in the Mediterranean, you can grow it here in Baja. The product of Baja is the main actor of this cuisine. And the third one, I think, is the cherry in the, the pie, is the Asian. 125 years ago, the Chinese came to, to Mexicali and they make their own cuisine. The same in the 80s, 70s, come the Japanese to Tijuana and they make these sushis. And I think these three major influence, the Pacific, the Golf of Cortez and the Valleys, that's Bahamut. Well, the first ditch, uh, actually, we went hunting in the morning. Get ready. Uh, I love hunting, so that was nice. The particular about hair is uh, red meat. So you can see it and serve it as a tuna or as a red meat. So I take the loins out and grill them and the mesquite that we have here. And uh, let's see, we have tongue and tuna. This is a dish that I never made before. I have the, the ingredients and the recipe in my mind. I think it's gonna be nice or good, but I didn't try it before, that you try it first than me. So. Uh, what we're talking about is to improvise and make new dishes in this Baja, Baja California or my, my, my Baja Med cuisine. In this moment, we're creating plates, and probably that one is a plate that I'm going to serve in my restaurant. The loin of the, of the hair, the tuna, and the thong. And then I put a, a cream of uh, goat cheese, olive oil from Baja, lemon. Two of the three plates. One was the one I hunt, and the second one was a big grouper that a week ago I went uh, pier fishing with my son, and he got that one. So today I bring it to you and share it. No, everybody think I went to use the fillet, but but don't. I use the tail, the chest, and the cheeks. I think they are more tasty than the the fillet itself. So we sear it in the mesquite and then smoke it for a little bit. And then I make a salad with tomatoes from my garden and a real radish and take uh, each part of the tail, the chest and the cheek. In each one I put a different sauce, uh, tepena, and the other one was a uh, tarragon sauce, and the other one was a uh, pesto. In the top of each one, I put a uh, lampredotto, this is the, the forced stomach of the cow. I make some cracklings. Each part has uh, different textures and uh, different flavors. The octopus. So it's a half of the octopus marinated with garlic, shallots, and herbs. Grill it very strongly in the, in the fire. And then I put a tepenade. I put a saffron aioli. I put tomatoes, potatoes. I like it a lot how it combines all the ingredients. And you can take each part of the octopus and take different sauces. I love the octopus dish, very Baja. 
my father was a hunter. My grandpa has lambs and cows and a lot of ranches. My uncle was a fisherman and a diver. My first uh, rabbit I hunted at five years old. When well, a 24, 22 rifle, my father put me there. And then my uncle take me uh, 10 years old to Baja, 15 days, 20 days, uh, diving and pure fishing and, and fishing. Those kind of experience in life, I think make you a character. No? And that's how I grew up. All my sports or the things that I do, everything come to my kitchen. So I think it's no work for me. It's all, always having fun. Like today, you know, we were hunting and then come back and cook whatever I hunt. <laughs>